these laws are more lenient and that will really help you in finding a way in case if you want to come to germany so having lot of population which is older generation which is above 65 70 years and the younger generation is less so whenever you get a job offer from any company here in germany please understand how much is your annual gross salary so basically what it means is if you have 3 years of experience working in it domain in your home country you can still try to look for a job here and you can still try to get an eu blue card even if you have studied something which is completely different and not into it hi everybody welcome to my channel good treat in germany and in today's video we are going to talk about the new immigration laws that has been introduced in germany in 2024 these laws are more lenient and that will really help you in finding a way in case if you want to come to germany so without further ado let's get started as you know germany is facing labor skill shortage and for that reason they are introducing new laws so that they can attract more talent and they can fill the shortage of workers in fact germany is having lot of population which is older generation which is above 65 70 years and the younger generation is less that is why they need younger crowd to come to germany so that this system can run as it is and they do not face any economical crisis in future that is the reason german law has become more lenient and they are introducing more new and new rules so people can come to germany and start working here so in this video we are going to cover these recent new rules that germany has introduced in case if you are looking to come to germany and these are much more lenient than the previous rules that they have so let's go through these rules one by one and understand how they can help us or support us in case if you are planning to come to germany so the very first rule is the salary threshold the salary threshold for an eu blue card eu blue card is the best version of the working permit blue card that you can get in case if you are living in germany and usually for this blue card with the other requirement the main requirement was salary threshold and you needed minimum 58000 annual gross salary to apply for the eu blue card in previous years but now this salary threshold has reduced to 41040 annual gross salary which is extremely extremely less so now in this case what happens is most of you can apply for the eu blue card the only requirement that you need to fulfill for salary threshold is that you need your salary to be at minimum of 41040 annual gross salary so whenever you get a job offer from any company here in germany please understand how much is your annual gross salary and if it is above this threshold of 41000 then you can apply for the eu blue card in case if you want to know more details about eu blue card then there is a very detailed video which is created which you can watch and that will really help you get into more details of eu blue card how to apply for the eu blue card what are the di different requirements that you need for the blue card and so on however this is a very very good benefit for everybody who is planning to come to germany or who is already working here in germany which is the salary threshold for the eu blue card has reduced drastically so that's the first change now let's go to the second change that germany has introduced the second change is it concentrates on getting wider audience to germany it it wants it wants to tap into the wider market so basically what has happened is now you can apply for the eu blue card even if you have 3 years of experience and also a university degree which was not the case before at least minimum they wanted 5 years of experience that has reduced to 3 years and second in case if you are into the bottleneck professions especially into the it field they have introduced this new kind of a mechanism where anybody who is working as an it specialist but they do not have a degree in it domain they can still go ahead and apply for the eu blue card so basically what it means is if you have 3 years of experience working in it domain in your home country 
you can still try to look for a job here and you can still try to get an eu blue card even if you have studied something which is completely different and not into it isn't that amazing and why do they have this law i have spoken about this in my previous videos many times germany is really lacking digitally quite behind and for that they need more it crowd here so that they germany can get up to speed so in case if you are a fresher or you have just graduated college and you're thinking what next you can do you can always think of having some experience in the it field or doing some technical further education here in germany in it because it has lot of scope here in germany for next few years definitely let's go to the next one the third uh, law that they have introduced is that the list of shortage or the bottleneck professions have increased now i don't know if it's this a good thing or the bad thing definitely it's a good thing if you know uh, you want to be opportunistic and you want to come to germany and you fall into this category then these are bottleneck professions and for these bottleneck professions you can apply for visas and you can come to germany and you can easily get visas so initially these bottleneck or the shortage skilled workers were only limited to few fields like it mathematician science and healthcare these were the few fields but now they have expanded this list of bottleneck professions and now they now there are more fields which are introduced in this so in case if you are falling into these other different fields then also you can think of coming to germany and the new fields which are added in this shortage skill list are manufacturers construction mining workers then even healthcare when it comes to the child care and veterans dentist pharmacist nursing professionals school teachers educators information and technology service managers so these are the different professions which are added in the shortage list category for germany so now even if you are in other professions other than it then you can think of coming to germany because they need people in all these different professions in fact there is also a bottleneck list of uh, profession professions which i heard in germany a very detailed list i'm going to post that in the description below go through it and in case if you are into that then you can definitely think of coming to germany another new law is short term and long term mobility what does that mean say for example if you have an eu blue card of any other european union and if you want to come to germany for business purposes then you do not need any other visa you can come to germany and stay in germany for up to 90 days without requiring any visa and say in case if you stay in germany for 12 months then you can even convert your visa into eu blue card for germany even if you have a eu blue card of some another country this was not possible before next benefit is the family reunification so initially what used to happen is in case if you want to invite your family members into germany then you need to provide a proof that you have the enough house space for everybody to come and live with you and if you do not have that then the visa of your family members can get rejected however with the new law now say for example if you were staying in another eu country with your family members and now your family members can come to germany without having to apply for the visa even before entering germany and they can come here and live with you and that requirement of showing that you have enough space is no longer needed and even the requirement that you will be able to provide for your family being the only the earning member is no longer needed so basically they have made it more lenient where you do not need to provide lot of uh, justification in case if your family members are moving to germany if they were already living with you in another european country the another law when it comes to the family reunification which is the amazing and one of the best laws that germany can introduce is in case if you are getting a blue card in 2024 then you can invite your parents to germany for a longer duration in fact they can even come here and live with you right now in germany if you have to invite your parents they can only come and stay with you 
for three months at a stretch and then they have to go back and then they can come again and stay here for three months. But with this new law, if you have a blue card in 2024, then your family, your parents uh, can come and live with you for a longer duration of time. Now, this law is only for the blue card holders of 2024. For example, I have applied for blue card in 23. So I am not eligible for this law. But knowing Germany, I am, I personally feel that this will also change for the pre previous EU blue card holders. Now, why they have introduced this is when, you know, they research on the topics, what are the main reasons people are leaving Germany and going back? Then these are the main criteria, like they can't live with parents, they do not know German language, so they cannot, cannot integrate pretty quickly. So to avoid these reasons, they are making their laws in such a way that they can provide more benefits to the expats and then they can live here for a longer duration of time. So that's a great, great new law. In case if you want to call your parents and live with them here in Germany, now that is possible. And the next law is for professional drivers. In case if you're a professional driver and you're planning to move to Germany, initially, again, you want you had to have a German language requirement. But now those language requirements are not there anymore. And in fact, even the driving license requirement has become more lenient compared to what it was before. So if you are a professional driver, you can move to Germany as well. Please go ahead and visit their official website to get more details on this topic. But that is also one great law that they have introduced. The next great law is the opportunity card. I think we all know that, that Germany is introducing an opportunity card. Basically, the job seeker visa allows you to come to Germany for six months and find a job for yourself. But now Germany is introducing Chansenkarte, which is opportunity card, which allows you to come to Germany for 12 months and find a job for yourself. There is a very, very detailed video created on this topic. Please go ahead and watch that video. It explains you very clearly the difference between the job seeker visa and the difference between the opportunity card and also what are the different benefits that you can have in opportunity card. So that is a new law that is going to get introduced in Germany starting from June of 2024. So please make use of it. And it is an amazing visa to come to Germany and find a job for yourself. The next law that Germany has introduced is for the students. So for example, if you were a student, you were allowed to work right now 120 full days and 240 half days in an year for an internship or for working student. However, now that has changed to 140 full days and 280 half days in an entire year, which means you can work for more time, you can earn more money or more stipend, and then you can support your own education. So it is a really great law for all the students or anybody who's planning to come to Germany to do masters, where you can work for a longer duration and earn more money. Another very good law that they introduced here in Germany is the application of EU Blue Card and the relaxation on the German language. So initially, if I have a EU blue card, I had to wait for 31 months to apply for the permanent residency. However, now I can apply for that permanent residency in 21 months if I know at least B2 level of German and in 27 months if I know at least a1 level of German. My uh, ticket to the permanent residency has become faster in, in Germany right now compared to the previous years. And now also you can apply for a citizenship in five years rather than waiting for eight to ten years. So that is also another law that they have introduced here in Germany. These are certain new laws that Germany has introduced in 2024. However, let me tell you one thing. In case if you're coming to Germany and if you're trying to find a job here, then it is very, very important to you have a perfect CV. And if you are getting a lot of rejection emails, you've been trying to find a job, then that definitely tells you that you do not have a right CV. And that is why you're getting so many rejection emails. 
in case if you need to learn how to create a perfect cv i have created this crash course in one hour i tell you you will learn and understand in detail what is going wrong in your current cv how do you create a perfect cv for germany or any european country and you start getting more interview calls so go ahead and you can take that course in case if you want to talk to me you have any query regarding recruitment in germany or about germany then you can book my slot and talk to me i'll be more than happy to help you also i have an interesting news to share with all of you lot of people ask me from what what about german language is german language needed is it not needed and from where can we learn german language let me tell you this the german language courses here in germany has become super expensive so i personally suggest that in case if you are planning to come to germany it's good to start learning german language from your home country itself and that is a mistake that i did i never learned german in india and now i am i'm paying much more than what i'm supposed to pay to learn german language even the basic a1 a2 level so it's always good to at least learn the basic levels from your home country in case if you want to learn german language i have partnered with one of the top institutes in pune and they cater to lot of candidates they have train more than 1000 uh, students with german for german language so you will also get a special discount if you go ahead and register through this link go to the description below and you can go ahead and register yourself and you will get a special discount as well and that's going to help you to learn german i would suggest start learning german from now itself because if you're coming to germany at one point you would need to learn german planning to come to germany and you want to know more about germany then i post lots of videos in detail explaining you step by step process here on my channel this is a complete guide for you in case if you're planning to come to germany not only that i have started this entire series of hr talks in germany where i am having this video podcast with hiring managers other hr people other job seekers everybody who is getting a job here in germany or trying to find a job so that with that information it helps you to find your right job sooner so go ahead and subscribe to my channel like my videos in case if you like what i am doing and please mention in the comment section what is the different topic that you want me to talk about i'll create a video on that topic i wish you all the best Please remember in all this you need to be happy and you need to take care of your health. I hope to see you again. In case if you want to talk to me, go ahead and book my slot. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.